I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. 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 I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Please, sir, please don't make this thing jail. I'm begging you. We're not criminals. Sir, sir, please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please. Dude, please. Sir, please. Oh, my God. On, don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what drink. you're doing to me, man. Why? Today's video takes us to Warner Robins, Georgia. Not Baskin Robins, Warner Robins. It's about an hour and a half from Atlanta. But at any rate, we're going to watch a frauditor act really stupid and get arrested. Well, now that's what we like to see. By the way, this frauditor is threatening to file copyright strikes against me. Feel free, sweetheart. Sit back, watch, and... <laughs> Enjoy. What's going on, Georgia Transparency? Going hot. Uh, yes, we did get arrested today in Warner Robins by the Warner Robins Police Department. It was, in my opinion, in my strong opinion, an illegal arrest by Officer Hall that wanted to flex his ego and everything. So um, I was there working on a private job um, for something else and everything and um, totally unrelated, however. This is our good buddy behind the camera. His name's Russell. Russell, do you mean to tell me that you have a real job, something else besides frauditing? Really? What kind of job is that, Russell? What do you do? Are you some kind of rocket scientist or a brain surgeon? Because I'm trying to figure out why you fraud it. You're not making any money on frauditing, I can tell you that much. Uh, maybe some pocket change. Uh, tell us though, Russell. Inquiring minds want to know why are you a frauditor? Um, this uh, police officer decided he wanted to, uh, you know, flex his ego a little bit. So uh, I guess uh, I guess he thought his badge could handle this. So uh, without further ado, it's a it's kind of a it's a it's a short video. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into it. The only reason I'm posting this video today is because I went back through this lad's channel and found that he was arrested. Now, I would have never done that if he hadn't written an email to me asking me to please cite his video in my description box. And then what did he say? Let's take a look. He said he was going to give me a reasonable amount of time to think it over and failure to cite his video, he'd be forced to file a copyright strike. Oh, dearie me, like I'm not familiar with copyright strikes, eh? Is that what you're trying to say there, lad? Well, naturally, I responded to the lad, and I told him, yeah, you know what, filing false copyright strikes without merit can get you in a lot of trouble. But uh, I went on further to say, you know, that out of the original video, here's how much time I used, and here's my added commentary. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. And then he writes back to me, and he says, uh, Oh, you know what? You can use my content. I don't care as long as you cite my source. Yeah, right. And then he uses the improper punctuation here. You're with an apostrophe. Nah, that's not what you're talking about, brother. But anyway, uh, this is why I'm doing the video on him today. Let's roll that arrest clip, shall we? Ah, oh, not much. Just chilling. Chilling? Yeah. Do you have any reason to be at this church? Uh, do I have a reason not to be here? Well, it's a closed business right now, so you're not allowed to be here. Oh, okay. Okay. So I gotta you, leave? You got your ID on you? Um, I, I do. Do I gotta show it? Yes, you do. For what crime? Uh, it's not a crime, sir, but right now there's an investigation going on because the crime is loitering and prowling. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So yes, sir, you do have to present your ID. So here we have another moron who likes to sit in front of a closed business. What was your business there, Frauditor? Were you counting how many cars were going by and see how much business the company was losing while they were closed? I mean, what's your deal? What's your deal, Frauditor? Did you stop at Taco Bell? I bet you're like my good buddy Glenn Serio. You stopped at Taco Bell and wanted to eat it in the car. 
Is that what your deal is, Froditor? Okay, so uh, you speak for the business? No, sir, but someone called because you were here, therefore I'm allowed to investigate this. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, unless so I've I committed a... So I need you to present a, your ID now. Unless I've committed a crime. Okay. I mean, have I committed a crime? You have, loitering. For s sitting in a private spot? Who called sitting you? Sitting on a private property of a closed business. I'm going to ask you one more time to present your ID, sir. So has the closed business called you? I'm not going to give you that information. Okay, I'll let you know. I'm a private investigator. I'm here investigating the claimant that's in this neighborhood. Okay. I have my credentials, I need and I'll be happy to show those to you. If I've got to leave this property, I will, I will happily leave this property. Okay. Oh, so the lad's a private investigator, eh? Does that make him an investigative journalist by chance? Well, Froder, if you're a private investigator, you should know that you can't sit on private property when the business is closed, unless you have express permission from the property owner. Oh, dearie me, Froder, now you're going to have to take a ride in the police car. I don't know how you're going to fit in there. Maybe they'll have to put you in the trunk. Okay. Well, I need to see the okay. credentials. I got you. See your ID. I got you, sir. You got any firearms in the car? I do. Okay, where's it located? In my center, my center console. Don't worry, I'm not going to reach for it. Oops, sir. I can't speak 100% sure for Georgia, but here in Ohio, when stopped by a police officer or making contact with the police officer, you must inform that officer immediately that you have a loaded weapon on your person or in your vehicle. Now, what kind of private investigator are you, sonny boy? You don't want to tell the officer that you're armed? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to reach for it. Yeah, famous last words. But carry on, sonny boy. All right. You are going to have to leave the business. Okay, it is a closed business. What you're doing is considered loitering and prowling. Okay, I can okay. tell you who called. Okay. okay, I can tell you someone called. You're at a closed business. Be here. That is loitering and prowling. Go ahead. Criminal okay. trespass is when somebody... Clear, thank you. Okay, Criminal so... Criminal trespass is when you deprive somebody of their personal property or private property. Yeah, 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 so I'm so on... two totally different crimes. So yeah, I'm what's your name and badge number? Officer Hall, 4182. 4182. Oh. Yeah, sonny boy, make sure you get that name and badge number so you can file a complaint later. Of course, in just a few moments, you won't need that name and badge number, will you? It'll be on the arrest report. I bet your mama's so proud of you. Is she, sonny boy? Is your mama proud of you? Oh, I bet you she is, her bouncing baby boy. Okay. All right, so I'm, All right, so I'm sitting on a private property. Yes. And you speak for the business. So the business. I do not speak for the business. I so speak you for can't the law. You can't I'm tell me to leave. I'm not trespassing you. I am telling you to leave because you're con committing the crime of loitering and prowling. Being at a closed business when they're not open is a crime. No, it's not. Okay. When no, it's here, not. After someone calls, it is. Who? I'm the business has the call. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Somebody that doesn't speak for the business right, can't sir. trespass Are you going to leave the property? I'll go to jail. Let's okay. go. Come on. This is why I always say the frauditors rank the lowest on the IQ scale. Now, I don't know anything about private investigators' licenses, and I'm not going to pretend I do. But it would seem to me if you have an arrest record, you might not be able to have that license. Oh, dearie me. Now you're going to have to move back home with your mama and live in the basement. Oh, my goodness, Russell. What are we going to do with you, my man? He's got his phone to change his cigarette and the other. Go ahead and just turn around for me. All right, hold on. No, go ahead and turn around for me. All right, I'm being arrested. Can I get my wallet and my phone? Yeah, we'll okay. get it for you, sir. Central District. Hey, uh, this is a paper, sir. What's that, sir? I got a bad shoulder. Can you cut me? 
Did you notice this idiot when he got out of his truck had his potato cam in his hand and still recording? And then he asked the officer, Can I get my camera? Yeah, you sure can, sweetheart. But you can't take it in the jail cell with Bubba and the boys. Hey, Bubba and the boys are going to like you. You got some meat on your bones if you get my drift. You know why they call it the pokey, don't you, Russell? Oh, well, you'll find out. Don't worry. In the front, I'm not going to be here. No, sir, I can't cuff you in the okay. front, but I will double. I have two cuffs on you. So okay, you. okay. All righty. Okay. All righty. Cool. One of us is my cousin. Yes, ma'am. 11 Yes, ma'am. Come pick this truck up. I can call my wife. Can I? Can I? Can I give her a call? What kind of timeline is that? She's two hours away. Unfortunately, no. We're gonna go ahead and get a tow truck around. Okay. Can I? Hold on. Now look, look at what the lad has scrolling across the bottom of the screen. He's worried about his job being in danger because his truck's being towed and he's illegally arrested. Well, you should have thought about that before you told the officer to arrest you. And now it says he's transported to the jail, booked and changed to a concrete bench. Is that how you spell concrete, Froditor? Mmm. Yeah, not to worry, Froditor. If you lose your job, you can always be a Froditor, right? Full time Froditor. Yeah, it'll work out for you. Hold on, hold on. Can I spit this out really quick? Yes, you can. This? Okay. So, uh, can I get my wallet and my phone? Where's your wallet and your phone at? My wallet is right there in the center console. Okay, and this then phone? your cell phone? Uh. Is that the cell phone you want? Uh, that's my, uh, work phone. Okay. So I should have my phones plugged in. My other one. You can oh. just bring that. Oh, yes, sir. Well, now, there you have it, folks. Stupid is as stupid does. Now the lad's arrested, and he's worried about losing his job and having his truck towed. Man, don't you think you should have thought about that beforehand and maybe cooperated with the officer instead of all this constitutional nonsense that you are spewing? Well, at any rate, uh, hey, Frauditor, by the way, feel free to copyright strike this video. Feel free, brother. At any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons like this yahoo, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.